Hello everyone, welcome to this video and thank you for the constructive feedback from one of my customer that say the lighting was kind of dark from my previous video. Can't actually see my face. So today I'm here outdoor in my estate at Bedok. So hopefully the lighting is okay. And uh, today I'd like to talk about the topic that I believe most, most people are extremely concerned about and worried that the global stock market falling into the rates due to the coronavirus crisis. Although the US stock market picked out on this week, but after the global stock market and oil price crash last week, will still bring an impact on the property prices here in Singapore. And the COVID-19 is spreading around the world, especially in Italy, that was uh, just reported the numbers of cases, already more than 10,000 cases. So um, with all this global uncertainty situation, will Singapore property prices fall? Well, first of all, let's take a look into the statistic show uh, a few days ago that, uh, that fewer HDB flat was transacted last month compared with January. It was 13% fewer than in January, but surprisingly, the prices was up by 0.7%. And reported a five room in Commonwealth Drive was sold at 1.1 million, marked the most expensive resale flat sold last month. And there is also a executive mansion in Aukang sold for 858,000, which was the highest price in the non mature estate. Besides that, there were also five HDB resale flat transacted for at least $1 million each last month. So based on what SRS had quoted, the resale flat buyers had been overpaid for these flats last month. And the house hunter still seems to be keen on buying the properties despite the COVID-19 situation. So why are the people still buying during this COVID-19 outbreak and even at a new price tag? So to understand this, we need to take a look at the, these resale flats. They can be attractive for first-timer time, first families beside the BTO flats because mainly they don't need to wait for them to build and it's usually readily available to move in straight after their purchase. So, and some of these resale flats are located in the mature estate where all the convenience are already existed and it's easily to access to. Therefore, make them attractive to the buyers. But for the buyers who overpaid the prices to this flat, mainly are having a higher income, they are given them a higher loan amount, and probably with their combination of CPF funds and grants that help them to afford such a high quantum price. But for this buyer, who pay a new price tag for the flat, are actually putting themselves at risk unknowingly. Because the actual seller are the winners. However, for some people, as long as they have the money, they feel and happy, they buy. So not everything they require logic, even though they may be aware of the danger. So with this kind of buying sentiments, any impact from the virus may likely to be short term. Lastly, Around 6,800 flats will be MOP soon and available in the next three months time. Although the global stock market tumbling into the rates, but with the buying sentiments that Singaporeans have, will still be buying their homes to stay. And the investor will still be looking for tangible investment to hedge and ride on the trend. So these are one of the many reasons why overall HDB private transaction volume increased in January and February, despite the current situation. So, despite all these challenges, why so many people are taking action? Is it the home buyers and investors see the virus a crisis or an opportunity? So whether to take action before the recovery or wait to buy after it's recovered, you decide. So this comes to the end of the video. Do PM me if you wish to find out why people choose to take action during the crisis. Lastly, please leave a comment for this video below. 
I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. As always, stay safe, take care.